This tip is for Jennifer Wyndham and all of you out there who may want to make cute and pretty icons on your MacBook, whether it be for internet shortcuts or even folders. We're going to do this in two steps. One, we're going to make the icon image, and then two, we're going to attach the image to the shortcut. So let's look at how to make it. I love to use pages to quickly and easily make uh, you know, little images and layers and icons. So I simply open a new document, and here we're going to click a blank document, and I just drag my images that I want on there. So I want a nice, pretty little polka dot background. I feel like I'm having to check my man card on this one. And I want to add this pretty little frame as well. Now notice that I've got some of the, the frame is kind of covering up that background there. So this is where uh, Pages and Keynote are really helpful. I'm going to actually use the Instant Alpha tool to erase some of that white so my pretty little polka dots show through there. All right, I'm going to click Customize Toolbar, and I'm going to look for the Instant Alpha tool, which is going to be right here, and I'm going to drag it up there so that I can use it when I need it. Good. I'm going to click on the image. I'm going to click on Instant Alpha, and then I've got this little square pop-up. I'm going to click and drag over the area that I want to erase and let go. And there it goes. Okay. Now, let me do that again so that you can kind of see it. Step back in two steps. I'm going to take Instant Alpha. I'm going to drag it over the area that I want to erase and let go. Click outside the picture and it's reset. Let me adjust this to where I want it. There, that looks good. I'm going to lock those down. I'm going to go ahead and click on Arrange. I'm just going to group them. That way they're one thing. Now I'm going to stick a text box in here. I want to enter some text. I'm actually going to make, since we're going all cutesy here, I'm going to make a icon for Teachers Pay Teachers. So I'm going to enter TPT as my text. I'm going to make it a title so that it's big. I'm going to pick a pretty font. Oh, let's use some kind of chalkboard. Why not? Um, here we go. Chalk duster. And let's just make that large so I can see it. Okay. Here we go. Let's expand that a little bit. And I'm just going to center that on the image. All right. I'm going to click out of here. Now to create my icon, I'm going to hold down Shift, Command, and 4. And I'm just going to, I want a square, so I'm just going to select the area that I want. And then I'm going to let go. That's going to put an image on my desktop that looks like the icon I want. I'm going to double click and open it in preview. And there we go. I want that to be my Teachers Pay Teachers icon. So now let's create the shortcut. I'm going to open up Safari. I'm, I've already navigated to Teachers Pay Teachers. I'm going to drag the URL for Teachers Pay Teachers to the desktop and drop it there. And you see how I've got this ugly um, Safari looking icon right there. I want that to be different. So I'm going to select click, which is either two fingers or a right or left corner click. Whatever you do to right click on the Mac, which we call select click. And I'm going to choose get info. And here I've got the info about this shortcut. This is the critical step. I want this image right here of the icon to change to where it looks like this so that my finished icon looks pretty the way I want it. So I'm going to click back on my picture. I'm going to choose Edit, Select All, Edit, Copy. I'm going to go over here and you notice how when I click that, let me click out again. It has a blue, it highlights it in blue. That is important. You want it to be highlighted in blue. I'm going to right click on that. Then I'm going to go edit, paste. And then it changed. Let's do that again. I click on the picture. I select all. I copy. I click on the info for the shortcut. I select that icon so that it's highlighted in blue. Edit, paste. That's it. Now I've got my pretty icon.
I'm going to close out of Safari so we can test this. Make sure it works. Read the page. Double click on my link. And boom. Here we are with a pretty icon that opens Teachers Pay Teachers. This also works for folders. So if I have a new folder, call it, let's just use Teachers Pay Teachers stuff. Again, same process. Get info. I've got my icon right there. I'm going to open my picture. On my picture, edit, select all. See how it's highlighted. Edit, copy. Go over to my target. In this case, it's a folder. Edit, paste, and it changes. Notice it has to be highlighted in blue. Otherwise, I won't be able to, to change it. There we go. Now, my folder, Teachers Pay Teachers Stuff, and my web link. Now, normally you wouldn't do the same, but I'm just showing you how the same steps work for a custom folder icon or any icon on your Mac. So, for Jennifer Wyndham and the rest of you teachers out there that want to make sure that you've got pretty and cute shortcuts and icons to help with organization or just to make your Mac look better, there you have it. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at cmiller at sangerisd.net and I hope